Hello, everybody. I want to show you this auto feed range ball striper I've been working on. Made some improvements. I'm going to put some balls in it and uh, show you how it works. things I did was I put a bigger motor on this one it's a DC motor variable speed it's a lot more expensive than the other motors but it's got a lot more power so if you want to speed it up it's probably too fast to stack them but this frame heavier so I could put longer bearings in it. I'm going to put some paint in it now and show you how that works. Okay, I just put some paint in here. Got the foam roller all full of paint. Kind of a thick foam roller on it, so it's kind of a wide line. I'm gonna put another one different one on here in a minute. So you can slow it down so it's a little easier to stack them. If you got somebody taking them off. Okay, I just changed over to one of the black poly foam rollers. See, I loosened that sprocket there so I could run this and change over. That line is a little narrower. A little extension on this one. that two-part epoxy paint that stays on the golf ball good.
a junk ball. See, when you get that paint mixed just to the right consistency, you get a pretty good line. Yeah, everybody asks me when they see one of my videos about the balls dropping in the box. Does that paint dry that fast? No, it doesn't. See those little splashes? That's what it does. That's that.